here today uh, I got some of my friends this is Molly she's Hi. less of a friend now after what she just said to me and uh, Pina y'all remember Molly did the prison plus with me several months ago I'm not sure how long it was now yeah. Pina just recently did the uh, echo versus ghost unlimited with me uh, so today we have got the new DeMarini whisper kind of excited about this one this bat is not really broken my daughter's probably hit 50 60 balls off of it uh, so this would kind of be an out of the wrapper just straight up uh, tell me what you think about it kind of a the straight up review of it right out of the wrapper so uh, we got Molly she's a first year 16u player we got peanut uh, first year 14u player right yeah first year 14u player uh, both are contact hitters um, not too cool out today so hopefully they won't break this thing better not break anyway so uh, with all that being said, uh, same format as usual. They're going to both warm up, hit them a bucket of balls off the tee, get loose. Uh, then we'll uh, we'll get their exit velo uh, red, get their pinions. Then we're going to do a little front toss and uh, let them send a few, see if they can put one out of this field today. And uh, y'all ready to get to it? Yep. Boy, they are really ready to go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's go do some hitting. <laughs> All right, so we got Peanut back here after getting her cuts in, getting reading her exit velocity. I'm gonna start by showing you something I think is kind of cool. I hope you can see that in the video. If you look <laughs> right here, all the way around, <laughs> she used about a five inch section of the barrel of that bat. That's kind of cool. Um, honestly, contact hitters just impressed me how they how they can just manage to use that same spot on the barrel all the time. So, that being said. Peanut, tell me what you think, kid. I think it's a decent bat. The sweet spot's pretty big. You can tell when you miss hit it a lot, and I feel like it's a little heavy in my opinion compared to other bats. All right, so saying it, it swings heavy? Yes. Okay, so it swings heavy to you. Um, would you say inloaded or balanced? Inloaded. So it feels like it's inloaded. Okay. Um, about the sound? Sound? It sounds good. I think it had a it's pretty good sound. Too. Consistent all the way, even if you miss hit it. Okay, that's good. About the about the grip. The grip's good. It's a little skinny for me, but yeah. I like the You like a little little fat, a little thicker grip? A little bit. Okay, so like a lizard skin or something be a little better for you, but stock stock grip not terrible, but not in no. love with it. Okay, right on. So uh swung heavy to you. You definitely feel like it's inloaded. Um had a good feel. You uh, you could tell if you mishit it, but uh, about hand sting, do you get any kind of hand sting from it? No. Okay, no hand sting. Um, you feel like you hit it well? I think I hit it pretty well. Okay. All right. Um, anything else jumping out to you? All right. Well, that kind of sums it up for Peanut. So uh, we'll get over here and we'll get Molly to get her cuts in with it. And then we'll come back and uh, we'll see what she thinks. Do you want to Give me my stick. All right, so we have got Molly back here. She got her hacks in with it, and um, looks like Molly used the same area on the bat that Peanut did. But she had one kind of out here, but this area didn't get used a whole lot. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> once. Uh, but like I said, I, I am I am always my my kids have my kid uses this part of the bat to here, so I'm always impressed by girls that can just work a certain area of the bat. So with all that being said. 
Molly, what do you think of this here, Demarini Whisper? Um, so the sweet spots towards the middle, um, the grip, you didn't wring your hands that much, really. Uh, it's definitely unloaded, and it was like more heavy to swing, and that might just be because it's dropped 10, but I don't know. I liked it, though. All right, so so you did you did like it. Um, yeah. You felt like it had a, a long sweet spot, or did you say it's Yeah, it's pretty spot? long. Okay, pretty long sweet spot. So the grip, uh, uh, miss hits. What kind of feedback did you get? Could you tell when you uh, miss hit it? You could. The sound was different, and uh, you'd feel yourself pull off the ball because it's heavy on the barrel. Okay, all so right. You feel yourself. All right, so like the grip. Uh, hand sting, you get any hand sting from it, really? I didn't. Didn't get it really any hand sting. All right, um, so you like the sound. Grip's pretty good. Um, anything else just jumping out, jumping out, jumping out at you, right? You know, that we didn't cover? I don't think so. All right. Well, good deal. All right. So they don't know their exit velocities yet. Um, Peanut says it's okay. Molly says she actually kind of likes it. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do a little front toss. I'm going to alternate them up. We'll do a little front toss and let them see the ball fly and see if that changes their opinion of the bat at all because sometimes it does. So, um, we we'll get out here and hit, have a little fun, and uh, we'll see uh, see if that changes anything after the fact. So, uh, ready to go see if you can put one out of here? Oh, yeah. I'm willing to bet that she puts a ball out of this field today. Have you ever hit a home run before? Oh, yeah. Have you? Okay, yeah. I didn't think you had. All right, so she's definitely going to do it today. I promise you that. Maybe Peanut will get her one, too. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, Peanut. Let's go. <laughs> Woo. All right, so it is worth mentioning. Right now, where the camera's sitting is about 210 feet, which is dead to center. This, or, well, okay, it's 210 at the corners. It might be a little deeper at center, but uh, it's gonna take a good punch to get it out there. So let's see if one of them get it done. So in my ever-changing and adapting quest to try to find what's the best camera angle to video when we hit live, uh, I tried putting the camera at the fence in center field for this video and between just the the overcast sky and the dead grass you can't see anything you can't see where these balls are going and of course now here I am you know you know a couple of weeks later you know trying to, to edit this and just now realize you know what this footage actually looks like and you know I'm sorry y'all I do the best I can I just now found it obviously I can't do anything about it now um, I will say that uh, Peanut hit uh, several good balls, but you could definitely tell that uh, the bat uh, being a 32 drop 10 was a little bit much for her with as inloaded as it was. Still hit a lot of nice shots backside and uh, pushed a couple balls pretty deep into the outfield, um, which for her is a pretty good lick. You know, she's not that big of a girl. Now Molly, on the other hand, um, she stepped up for her first round and hit pretty well with it. And uh, I think she put one out in her first round. And then she came back around for her second round and she took her sweatshirt off. She didn't got down to her t-shirt. She was ready to really go after it. I could tell she was she was really she was really feeling the bat at that point when you know she jumped in there and was ready to go. And I think she put three more out and one hopped the fence four or five times and pushed several balls deep, front side and back side and to center. Uh, she actually hit the bat really, really well. So We'll go on and jump now to their final thoughts on the bat because no, the rest of this footage is really worth watching. All right, well, we are back here at my lair. So um, probably expecting to see the girls and uh, <laughs> the final thoughts with them after they hit the had used the bat live. So it's about two weeks after I shot that video. And um, as y'all know, I use this microphone right here to put on the girls so I can make sure that, you know, everybody hears them and I talk loud enough. You can hear me across the ball field. It don't matter. But uh, I have had some issues with I forget to turn it on from time to time or the battery runs dead. And usually after I shoot each section, I'll go back and I'll look at it and I'll make sure my sound is good and make sure everything's all good. Well, uh, shooting that video that day, um, Molly had to hurry up and get to basketball practice after we shot the video. And uh, Peanut was just, she was just wore out. She was ready to get on the road. They drove an hour down there to shoot it and help me out. And um, so I didn't check it before I left. And um, of course, the microphone was either turned off or the battery was dead. I don't know. But um, I had eight minutes of footage with uh, the girls after they hit. And um, we laughed for 
almost a whole eight minutes and they talked about what they liked and didn't like. And I had absolutely no sound for any of it. So I'm going to have to give you all a recap here and uh, you're just going to have to take my word for it. Um, I do still have the book with the girls uh, average and their highest exit velocities. And, you know, and I remember what the girls thought, you know, it's not, it's pretty fresh in my mind. So it's not like it's that big a deal. So starting with peanut, um, talking to her afterwards, it was kind of what I expected it would be. Um, she didn't really like it anymore or, or dislike it. It was kind of the same for her. She wasn't in love with it. The biggest thing for her was it was just, it's just being an in loaded bat. It's just too much bat for her. And she didn't hit it as well as she wanted to. So obviously, you know, that didn't, that made her not love it. Now that doesn't mean that she didn't hit some good balls with it because she certainly did. She hit several to dead center and she hit several backside that were on the barrel that were, that were good strokes. Um, you know, deep into the outfield, which for her is a mean lick because she's not a power hitter. You know, she's a smaller girl. Um, and uh, like I said, I think with her, if she went to a 31, this is a 32 drop 10. I think had she been swinging a 31, uh, the results, uh, I think she might have felt a little bit different about the bat because she didn't hit it bad. She was just behind and was kind of struggling to get, get, get the barrel through the hitting zone, which is what you would expect. And that's not her fault. That's not the bat's fault. It's what I brought. And it, it is what it is, you know. Um, sometimes I just don't know until I know and, you know, it's too late. Um, but, you know, like I said, she still, even even at that, she still didn't dislike the bat. She was kind of like, eh, you know. So, like I said, I think, and I even t talked to her and told her after the fact that I thought if she could try a 30 or 31, that I think she would probably like it because she did hit it well. Now, Molly, on the other hand, and I, and I really, um, this one I liked because Molly is a self-proclaimed Easton girl. She told me that when I shot the first video with her and she said it again that day before. And she said she does not like De Marini at all. So uh, this is kind of one I've been waiting for for a while because I think we might have turned her because when she hit it off the tee, she, you know, she, she liked it, you know. Um, you know, she wasn't over the moon, but she didn't dislike it. And uh we did the first round of, of uh, front toss with her and she hit several really good balls. She one hopped the fence several times. And uh, I think she hit one out. And I mean, and it was, it was out, out and it was dead to center. If I remember correctly, center field at that fence is like 220. So that's, that's a heck of a ball. And, you know, you just saw her hit it off the tee. So she's got plenty of power and the bat's got plenty of pop for sure. Um, so then when she came back around for her, uh, her second round, she didn't drop that sweatshirt off and uh, got down to her T-shirt. So I could tell she was really ready to get after it, that she, she liked swinging it, and she knew she could, she could hit a ball far with it. And uh, she cranked probably – I think she one-hopped the fence with six or eight balls. She hit three more out um, and was just really hit the bat really, really well. And um, I think we might have converted her a little bit because she did say that she liked the bat after uh, – after hitting with it. And uh, so I thought that was pretty cool because all I asked her, you know, when she told me, she was like, you know, I'm, I'm an Eastern girl. And I was like, no, don't say that, please. I said, look, here's the thing. I don't care if you're an Eastern girl. That's cool. I'm totally fine with that. But when you're here working with this today, all I ask is that you just be open-minded. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, that's great. Just be open-minded, give the bat a chance and just be honest. And she really did that. She really, really did to go from, I hate Dee Marini and I'm an Easton girl to, you know, I kind of like this bat. That's a pretty big swing, especially for the first time you've ever hit with a bat. Um, and, and I'll admit, um, I was, you know, with her in the sense that I was surprised. Um, I will say that uh, um, I, when I watched her hitting with it, you know, when she was hitting off the tee, I was impressed. So let's get to their exit velocities. So I think it was a little less than a year ago that I hit with Molly. I don't remember. I think we did the Demarini Prism Plus. Now, I mean, that's a, you know, that's a pretty good bat in itself. Um, and I want to say that she was 58, 59 mile per hour with that bat. And now uh, granted, Molly had hit a heck of a growth spurt. I think that that kid must have been six inches taller than the last time I saw her. But um her average exit velocity with this bat was 68.5 miles per hour. That is an average, and that will put a ball out of any ballpark in America. That is a, that's, that's a really, really good average, especially from a girl her size. 
and uh, with her maximum at 71. That, that's a good crack right there. I mean, that, that, that really is. And she had several of them uh, in the 70s and 69. You know, she was pretty consistent with it. Um, Peanut. Uh, I just did Peanut here recently. I want to say she was mid to high 50s. I don't remember exactly. And also, these were different days, different amount of humidity, different amount of temperature, different, you know, a lot of, lot of variables change. So, you know, take that what you will comparing this time and last time. Um, but Peanut averaged 58.2 mile per hour with a 59 mile per hour max. And for a bat that I would definitely say is, you know, a, l- a little bit too much bat for her, that is, that is really good numbers. I mean, 59 mile per hour out of a girl her size, that, that's – that's swinging it pretty good. And like I said, I definitely think that would go up if, if I would have had a 30 or 31 for her to swing because uh, she would have been able to generate more bat speed and uh, get, get the barrel through the hitting zone a little better. But both of those were, you know, both girls had really good averages. Both girls had a, had a really good um, – their, their maximum was really good too. Um, now, as far as uh, what I think about the bat, uh, like I said, when uh, – um, I watched Peanut hit it, and I thought, you know, like I said, I could tell early on, I was like, oh, man, it's a little bit much bat for her, you know. But it is what it is. She never complained. She swung it hard, and she, you know, she was, you know, she she went after it. And I was looking at her numbers, and I was like, man, this this looks pretty good. You know what I mean? I was like, this for, you know, this, this looks really good. And I'm watching her hit, and I'm watching her hit, and her numbers, they don't even, they're not even varying that much. And, uh, you know, she is a contact hitter. She probably used that part of the bat. I mean, she just bang, 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 bang. She put it right on the screws. Um, it's always impressive to me to watch contact hitters hit because my kid is not a contact hitter. She's going to use from the top of the grip tape to the end cap. And so when I see those contact hitters that can just hit that spot, I, it, it really impresses me a lot. And uh, I was watching. I was like, you know, okay. And so I was pretty impressed initially. And then watching Molly hit it too. And I'm sitting there, I'm watching Molly and she's 69 and 70. And I was just like, man, I was like, holy cow. I was like, she's really swinging this thing well, you know? And I'm like, this thing's hot. So uh, as far as is the barrel hot? Yes, it is definitely hot. Um, Molly didn't use, she stayed, you know, in this area when she was hitting it off the tee. Uh, she used a little bit more of the barrel than Peanut, uh, but still didn't use a ton of it. Now, when both of them hit it, when we were doing front toss, you know, I've, you know, I throw the ball all over the place and uh, both of them did a good job of just going and getting it when I pitched, when I pitched bad and really squaring it up when I pitched good, which the bad pitches are good too, because they kind of work it all over the barrel. Um, so you, they can, re- we can really get a good idea to see how well the ball travels right off the barrel. Um, and I will say that I definitely feel like it has a long barrel. The entire thing seems hot. Um, it's definitely an end loaded bat. I, it feels like it feels like 85% of the weight of this bat is out here on the end. Now for the stronger girls that can really get it through the hitting zone, I mean that'll that'll definitely, you know, that'll definitely benefit them. I mean, some girls really prefer an end loaded bat. Um, if you don't if your child does not like an end loaded bat, I would not buy this bat. It is end loaded, there's no doubt about it. If your child likes an end loaded bat, they will absolutely love this bat. Um, I do like how De Marini does uh, the way their connection is. This bat's actually got a little bit of a taper. Usually theirs goes straight into it, and they've got like a big plastic joint right there. This one actually has a bit of a taper, a taper, and you can see the dry carbon. It's pretty nice. Um, they've got this really thin grip tape that I actually really like, and I've talked about before. When they have really thin grip tape like that, and neither of the girls, um, and even my daughter who swung it, um, they said they could tell when they miss hit the ball, but as far as it gives really good feedback, but they get no hand sting from it. So they definitely, that's a good design in, in that respect that n- none of the three girls, my daughter or these two in this video, they, none of them complained of any hand sting at all. And uh, you know, they all said that the grip that they, that they liked it. I would agree. I like the grip. It's thin, but it's grippy. Uh, so, you know, it's not like there's got a ton of cushion in it so that they're trying to compensate for, for hand sting or anything like that. Um, I like the colors. That's pretty cool. Uh, weight. I don't know. Let's see what it weighs. Uh, let's see. We are. 
Wow. I would not have thought that. It weighs 21.3 ounces, so it's actually underweight by uh, quite a bit. I would not have thought that. So, yeah. So 100% of the weight is right here. I mean, it is it, the fact that it's underweight and it has that heavy of a feel, um, uh, it definitely, to me, has kind of a heavy swing because you got to get all this moving. Now, once you get it moving, I mean, man, that thing's going to fly through the hitting zone, but you got to get her moving. Um, so I would definitely say with this bat, make sure – you get the right size. Don't don't go trying to size up from what your daughter is swinging now and go, oh, we'll get the next biggest size because you may get too much bat for her. So be mindful of that, um, that even though, yes, it is a little underweight, it, it it's very end loaded and it swings heavy. Now, it it does hit the ball deep. I was, I was impressed with it. I do like the bat. Now, I will admit um, – the Prism is a good bat, but I really think that DeMarini has kind of done the, the bold new graphics on that bat the last several years. I personally don't think the performance of that bat has changed any since that Prism came out, really. Um, <clears throat> I think it's the same bat. They put new graphics on it, sell it as a new bat for the last several years. And there's nothing wrong with that because it's not a bad bat. I don't know of an epidemic of them that have broken. It's just repackaging the same old thing. Now, I have not got my hands on the newest Prism or the newest CF. Uh, I probably will in time. I was kind of worried that this might kind of be a repackaged bat, but I don't think it is. Um, having felt the Prism quite a bit and looked at it and seen how the ball comes off of it, I do feel like this is, a, is an all-new bat, and uh, I like it. I think they've got a real, com real contender on their hands right here. I'm looking forward to getting some more cuts on it and letting some other girls swing it and doing some comparison videos of it with the Ghost Unlimited, with the new Torch. Um, I, I think it'll be really good. Um, so definitely got plenty more coming. Um, if you haven't made it this part of the video, I really appreciate it. Thank you for your support. Um, for those of you that are supporting the channel, thank you so very much. We've got plenty more videos to come. I've got just about every big name bat in house and we're going to keep comparing them all. I'm going to keep putting as much information out there as I can. Um, going to give away more bats. Uh, you know, anytime I can, try to to give back to to those of y'all that support the channel i definitely will and um if you're not supporting the channel already would appreciate it if you would start it's absolute you know what? it's free today today only it's free click that subscribe and um share it you know share this on your on your facebook page let let some let some of your other faith let some of your other uh fast pitch friends know that i'm out here you know help me reach more people i, I would really appreciate it a lot and uh, I guess with all that being said, we will see you on the next one. So stay tuned.